What is up, people? The internet, it is me, Real American, back in with a new video. And today, we have a pretty substantial update out of the great state of Iowa for the 2024 Republican presidential primary, as we officially have a date for the first caucus of the 2024 election. The Iowa GOP schedules presidential caucus for January 15th. That is right, everybody. January 15th, which is a Monday, is going to be the first caucus of the cycle. Now, at first, this seems like pretty insignificant news. But when you delve deeper into the, the history of the Iowa caucus, especially recent times, you start to realize that um, this could be a problem for a certain presidential candidate that it's January 15th. And we'll get into why this could be a potential problem. Now, before we continue today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below. Follow the Twitter pages, follow the Rumble page, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real America, the channel. Just click the join button down below. This is supports the daily content we all know and love. It also helps keep the channel independent. So if you want to keep the channel independent and you want to keep the daily content going, just click the join button down below for a dollar a month. That's it. All right, everybody, let's get into it. So the Iowa caucus is for January 15th. And many of you may think, oh, well, uh, this is basically a no, uh, this is a nothing burger. This is no substantial news. Well, let's just read the article real quick. Next year's Iowa Republican presidential caucus will be held in mid-January, about three weeks earlier than the past two primary cycles, state GOP officials announced Saturday. The first of the nation caucuses will take place on January 15th, 2024, following a vote from Iowa State Republican Party Committee, or Central Committee, January 15th. A Monday is a federal holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Which, on surface, this doesn't seem like big news. Like, okay, it's on a federal holiday. Maybe that leads to slightly higher turnout, which I doubt. But that's not the biggest reason why this is the biggest news in the world. Now, before we get into why this is actually substantial, there is a bit of, like, a caveat. That's earlier than in both 2020 and 2016, when the caucuses were held on the first Monday in February. But it's about two weeks later than 2012 and 2008, when the caucuses were held just two days after New Year's Day. So, that is the catch that, yes, in the past, it has been a bit earlier. But, there's a big but to this. In recent memory, the caucus got a little bit later in the cycle. It usually has been February, especially in recent memory, 2020 and 2016. But... This is actually pretty bad news for one candidate in particular, Ron DeSantis. I know you made me think yourself, what? How is this bad news for Governor Ron DeSantis? I mean, it's like, what, it's five months away. Here's the critical reason why this isn't good news for Team DeSantis. When you just think, at, think about this for a second, originally most people thought the caucus was going to be held in early February. So, yeah, everybody thought it was going to be probably the first or second week of the month. Well, it's going to be in the middle of January. And everybody was expecting it to be a little bit later than that. That is an entire month taken out of campaigning. And you could probably see where I'm going with this. Originally, DeSantis had six months to make up a big gap. And again, this is federal, this is national polling, so it's not Iowa polling, but Iowa polls seem just slightly more DeSantis favorable. Outside of that, you get the point. Originally, it was six months for him to make up a pretty substantial gap. Now, guess what? 
he has only five months. Six months itself, that isn't the longest time in the world to consider you're down by 32. And there's been no sign of this changing. But now you only get a month less than what you would originally get? Yeah, that isn't really that good. I mean, Team DeSantis is panicking a little bit. But this just has to be even worse news for the fact that, hey, we have an entire last month to campaign. Now, this is something that is going to be very interesting because you just scroll down here. And this could be the thing that makes things even harder for Team DeSantis. Iowa's move combined with the Democrats' efforts to remake their early uh, state order to begin with South Carolina means a New Hampshire primary will most likely be held on Tuesday, January uh, 23rd, eight days after the Iowa caucus. But for the race for the Republican presidential nomination, that could leave a long gap between Iowa and New Hampshire at the beginning and the rest of their contest. The state GOP in South Carolina, another of the four traditional early carve-out states that the RNC says can host the first nominating contest, last month set its primary date for February 24th. Nevada, the fourth state, is almost certain to hold its caucuses sometime in February, but its plans have not been finalized yet. Not following those four states, Michigan is a possibility to slide into the fifth spot with a February 27th primary. Otherwise, more than a dozen states are expected to vote the following week, March 5th on Super Tuesday, including delegate-rich California and Texas. Well, this is... When you start thinking about this, that's going to be a month-long gap between the Iowa caucus and, say, New Hampshire, then Nevada, then South Carolina. Originally, it was like a week or two. Now it's a month. And almost a month and a half from Super Tuesday. You know what would happen? If Trump wins the Iowa caucus, that means he gets an entire month to just build up momentum before the next primary. Instead of just a week. Now do you start to see the problem with this for Team DeSantis? Again, it's not gonna not gonna I don't think it's gonna change much. I'm just saying that not only is the Iowa caucus much earlier than expected, it's sounding like that a lot of these other contests, they're gonna be later. Which means if Trump sweeps Iowa, and if New Hampshire is, say, uh excuse me. January 23rd, well, it just, or later, that gives Trump plenty of time of momentum if he sweeps Iowa. Because, think about this, you know, you let's say New ha Iowa is a week before New Hampshire. Well, let's say Trump was to win Iowa. Maybe some of that momentum wouldn't be felt a week later. Maybe it would be felt two weeks later. We've seen this in the past. But... Instead of it being only a week later, it's potentially a few weeks later, even a month later. That gives Trump or whoever does good in Iowa significant time to build off that momentum before the next primary. So instead of being, say, up only 40 points after DeSantis, he can be up 50 points because he has a bunch of time to gain endorsements, continue the momentum for the next primary. And this is why I'm saying that his chances of being the nominee, I think actually decreased with this news. It just gives him less time before the first caucus and gives even more tr time for Trump to gain momentum after Iowa if he sweeps it like most people expect. Again, I'm not just bashing DeSantis because I feel like it. I'm just saying that start to do some math. You start to look at history. It isn't a good thing to give the front runner. Not only a month earlier for the first caucus than usual, but then after that, give him a whole month before the next primary to just build off that momentum. Yeah, that, um, I don't think that's going to end too well for DeSantis if the New Hampshire primary is, say, February 15th. If it's a week later, yeah, Trump will have momentum, but it won't be the same as having two to three weeks after the fact. We just got to see what happens. Again, I'm not just attacking DeSantis because I feel like it. I'm just trying to be honest. Why are you still running? The polling's getting no better. The schedule got even worse for you. A month less. 
and just gives Trump a bigger opportunity to gain steam after Iowa. His only hope is to not get blown out in Iowa. We're not, we can't even discuss him winning the state. We're discussing him just don't lose by more than five. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. And of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.